This video is part of the CanJS Meetup series covering CanRoute. In this video, I will give an overview of CanRoute's basic functionality and how to use CanRoute to connect two tab widgets to the browser's history. CanRoute provides bookmarking and back button support. For example, if I change part of the URL, the state of the application changes. The same thing happens if I hit the back button. It accomplishes this by cross-binding an observable CAN map to the URL. Let's take a look at what this means. I'll start with a blank page that is just loading CANJS. To initialize routing, call CANRouteReady. CANRoute is a facade to an observable CAN map. If I change CANRoute's attributes, the URL is updated. If I change the URL, CanRoute's attributes are updated. By default, the hash part of the URL is connected to CanRoute's attributes. The whole URL can be connected with the push date plugin. By default, CanRoute converts attributes into query string like name value pairs. For example, if I set attributes like page as contact and contact ID as the number 2, the URL is changed to this. Similarly, if I add another param to the URL like highlight equals name, CanRoute's attributes will include that value. You can listen to changes in CanRoute with CanRoute bind. I can listen to when the highlight property changes like this. The callback function gets called if the user changes the URL hits the back button, or your code sets the highlight attribute. Bind to the change event to listen to when any property changes. CanRoute is also a function that specifies pretty routes that translate URLs of different shapes into CanRoute attribute changes and attribute changes into URLs. For example, if I call CanRoute page contact ID and update the hash to look like that, a page and contact ID attribute will be set. If I clear the hash, all attributes will be removed. If I update the attributes to include a page and an ID property, the pretty route will be matched and the hash set to look like contact 6. It's important to recognize that canned routes routes are symmetrical. The routes are used to match the URL, but is also used to match the attributes in CanRoute. For example, if I remove the contact ID property, 
the page contact ID route is no longer matched and the default query string routing rules are used. This symmetry is an important difference between how most routing systems work. Most routing systems are one directional. Given some URL, they call some function. For example, backbones routing. CanJS routing is state-based and two-directional. Instead of worrying about routing rules and keeping track of what's changed in the URL, your application and widget simply changes CanRoute's attributes and listens to when they change. This has major advantages in even moderately complex applications. We'll explore them later. CanRoute can also take a defaults argument that can specify additional attributes to be set when a route is matched. For example, can route empty string with a default page attribute of home. This matches the empty hash, but sets the page attribute to home. Let's see how you can create a tabs widget that changes with the back and forward button with can route and a little bit of jQuery. And after that, I will show how you can add two tabs on a single page that behave independently. In this page, I have the standard progressively enhanced tabs HTML where the tab buttons are all within a UL. And each tab button has an anchor tag whose href points to the element ID that should be shown. To make this work with can route, I'll first decide what can route attribute will contain the visible tab. I used dev type. So, whenever link is clicked, Instead of updating the DOM to show or hide the tab content directly, I'll update CanRoute's dev type property to the name of the tab that should be shown. And I'll listen to when dev type changes. and show or hide the tab content based on the visible tab. Finally, I'll set up my routes and initialize routing. The important thing to recognize is that you should never be doing any DOM manipulation directly with a click or other event handler. Instead, you update can routes attribute and something else listens to those changes and updates the DOM. In many applications, can route serves as the highest order view model. Its attributes represent the state of the page at the highest level. In this next example, I want to add another tabs widget that shows team types on the page. To make this work, 
I'll convert the previous code into a jQuery history tabs widget. What I want to do is call history tabs on the tabs element with the can route property it will change and listen to changes in. For example, dev types will change dev type and I'll have team types change team type. I'll make the history tabs function parameterize which attribute is being updated and bound to. Finally, I'll update the routes to set defaults on the empty hash. To show dev type in the first part of the path. And team type in the second part of the path. Finally, I'll call ready. And I will open up the browser to make sure everything works. That the tabs work independently. And I can click the back button.